The final mode in the visual editor is the design mode. Once you're in the design mode, you can change some defaults, which kind of set up uh, a base for your site. So if you wanted to, say, change your uh, paragraph text from the Palantino to, say, Arial, we could do that very quickly. We could also change the font. Uh, we could change the color of the font. So if we wanted to do some sort of a, a darker color, we could do that. We can also change our hyperlinks. We've got headings, subheadings, and blocks. And the blocks default is just really the background and the borders of your blocks. So trying to try to get some sort of a setting uh, going for a, a general feel for your site. Then in the editor area, you've got things like structure. So if we wanted to change the background body, uh, we could do that. So if we wanted to say make a purple or make a blue, we could do that. Or if we wanted to do just a, a general white site, we could do that. And then we've got the wrapper. And the wrapper's got a lot of the same settings that uh, you'll start to see as you play with designing your site and the different elements of your site. You've got things like background and borders and rounded corners. You've got box shadow. Uh, so in this case, I, I think I want to add a uh, rounded corner to uh, the top of the site. So we can, we can do one corner at a time. So if I make it a little bit more noticeable, you can see in the upper left here, we've got a 10 pixel uh, rounded corner. Could do the same thing over to the right. Or if we wanted to get really fancy, we could do 50 and really make it crazy. And if we scroll down to the bottom, we could also do the bottom corners as well. Let's say we didn't like that though, because we've really got our, uh, we've barely got any wrapping in between, or any padding in between our, our wrapper here and the uh, bottom and the top of the web page. What we can do is we can undo these uh, rounded corners as you hover over uh, each one. You'll see this little X uh, next to uh, the element, so top left. So we can click uh, the X and it just says, do you wish to uncustomize this property? The value will reset. So if we say OK and we go through each and every one of them, our borders are now back to normal and we can save.